I'm Shadar Sharao and welcome to the Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn most important Java collection interview questions. The first one is, what does system.gc method and runtime.gc method do? These methods can be used as a hint to the JVM in order to start a garbage collector. However, this is, this, is, this is up to the Java virtual mission to start the garbage collection immediately or later in time. These methods can be used a hint for the JVM in order to start a garbage collection. However, this is up to, to the Java virtual mission to start the garbage collection immediately or later time. The next question is, when is the finalize method called? What is the purpose of finalization? The finalize method is called by the garbage collector just before releasing releasing the object object's memory. It is normally advised to release the resources help held by the object inside the finalize method. The finalize the finalize method is called by the garbage collector just before releasing the object's memory. It is normally advised to release the resources held by the objects inside the finalize methods. The next question is, if an object reference is set to null while the garbage collector immediately free the memory held by that object. No. The object will be available for the garbage collector in the next cycle of garbage collector. A object reference is set to null. Will the garbage collector immediately free the memory held by the object? Held by that object? No. The object will be available for garbage collector in the next cycle of the garbage collector. The next question is, what is the structure of Java heap? What is the param gen space in heap? In JVM, in JVM has a heap that uh, is the runtime data area from which memory for all classes, instances and arrays is allocated. It is created at the JVM startup. Heap memory for the objects is reclaimed by the automatic memory management Man management systems which is known as garbage collector. Heap memory consisting of a live and dead objects. Live objects are accessed by the application and will not be a subject of garbage collector collection. Dead objects are those which will be never be accessed by the application. But have not been collected by the garbage collector H. Such objects occupy the heap memory space until these are eventually collected by the garbage collector. The JVM has a heap that is at runtime data area from which memory for all classes, instances and areas is allocated. It is created at the JVM startup. Heap memory for objects is removed by the automatic memory management system, which is known as garbage collector. Heap memory consists of live and dead objects. Live objects are accessible by the application and will not be subjected of garbage collection. Dead objects are those whose will never be accessed, accessible by the application, but have not been collected by the garbage collector yet. Such objects occupy the heap memory space until they are eventually collected by the garbage collector. Next question is, when does an object becomes eligible for the garbage collection in Java? A Java object is subjected to garbage collected when it becomes unreachable to the program in which it is currently being used. A Java object is subjected to garbage collection when it becomes unreachable to the program in which it is currently used. The next question is, does garbage collection occurs in permanent generation space in JVM? Garbage collection does occurs in param gen space and it param gen space is full 
or cross the threshold it can trigger a full garbage collection if you look at carefully at the output of the garbage collector you will find that paramgen space is also garbage collected this is the reason why correct sizing of the param space is not important to avoid the frequent full garbage collection also check out article java 8 param is a meta space garbage collection does does occurs in the param space paramgen space and if paramgen space is a full or cross it the threshold it can trigger a full garbage collection if you look at carefully at the out of the garbage collector if you will find that paramgen space is also a garbage collected this is the reason why correct correct correctizing of the paramgen space is important to avoid the frequent full garbage collections next question is what is java api the java the java api the java api is a large collection of ready made software components that provides many useful capabilities such as the graphical user interfaces and widgets the java api is a large collection of ready made software components that provide a many useful capabilities such as a garbage such as a graphical user interface and the widgets The next question is what is the list interface the list interface provides a support for the list interface provides a support for ordered collections of objects the list may contain a duplicate elements the implementation classes of list interfaces interface is array list link list vector and stack the list interface provides a support for ordered collection of objects list may contain a duplicate elements the list interface the implementations of list interfaces are array list link list vector and stack The next question is how do you traverse through a collection using the using its iterator to use an iterator to traverse through the contents of a collections followed the following these three steps obtain an iterator to start of the collections by called the collections iterator method set up a loop that makes a call to the has next have the loop iterate as long as has next returns true within the loop obtain the each element by calling the next method how do you traverse through a collection using the iterator to use the iterator traverse through the content of the collections following these steps obtain the iterator to start the collections by calling the collections iterator method set up a loop that makes call to the has next method have the loop iterate as long as the has next return true within the loop obtain each element by calling the next method the next question is what is the difference between enumeration and iterator enumerator doesn't have a remove method and iterator has a remove method enumerations acts as a read only interface because it has the methods only to traverse the fetch the objects here enumerations doesn't have a remove method and iterator has a remove method enumerations acts as a read only interface because it has a methods only to traverse the fetch the objects thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.